All right, I'm here with Green Run Head Basketball Coach Kenneth Harris at Steins went at 61 to 51 over Prince of Sand here at Hunter Scope to move the 21 3 overall to play in Norview Monday night in the regional championship game. Uh, Coach, a uh, little bit of a slow, sluggish start. You guys have had some intense battles with them, and it kind of felt like this was at, at times. Hold on, was it hard for you to see that lowest corner? Did you kind of like that? All right, defense, we'll get it going offensively. Uh, that was actually weird because I thought that our offense would start off better than what it did. So mm -hmm. maybe the scope situation got to us just as well as I thought it would get to him. So um, I thought defensively we were doing well. We we played zone and uh, you know kept kept them out of paint. So, you know, we wanted to see if they get his shots, but we weren't getting shots either. Sure. So, you know, that did not work. Mm -hmm. You guys have been known to make your defenses in place in zone, but I mentioned to Elijah Kennedy, who we'll talk about in a second here, that um, you guys pretty much played it for the duration of the night. And was that in an effort to kind of keep Kanye Clare from getting in the paint? Or? Simple. That's simple. Kanye yeah. Clare and Isaiah Roberts are two, one of the two tandems that we knew we had to stop keeping. Mm -hmm. And it, like we told him, even in the zone, we got to keep Isaiah off the glass. And we got to keep Kanye out of the uh, paint fourth quarter. He just went crazy. Yeah. It's weird. He had 29 points and had a great fourth quarter with 16. But pretty much for most of the night, you kept both of those guys from going off. That really, the game kind of swung the third quarter. You played a lot of subs in the first half towards the second quarter. But yeah. your two guards got going, Jay Cooper and then Elijah Kennedy. And let's talk about Kennedy. Last year, he had the, the scary moment here with the injury at 22 tonight. And it just he does some things that are very smooth. You can't really teach on the court, right? Yeah, I mean, good kid, man. He, he, he like we told him. He told the kids at the beginning, Elijah has, has, has a lot of heart, man. He didn't have to be out here, you know. And, I mean, for him to fight back to how he did and to get back in, I mean, obviously we know he brought that up coming to play him. But, like I told him, you owe this, you owe this gym 30 points. And that's what he tried to do tonight. And I thought he did a great job. Sure. Uh, another guy that we touched on with talking with Eli was uh, Curry Smith for you, the senior who had 10 points, 12 rebounds, and – a lot of his rebounds were big against Zay inside that had he not gotten, they could have possibly taken a lead before halftime. Yeah, Curry is a good glue guy, man. And he will play, I think he can go to a couple of any other place that would be a leader, man. Um, he's, he's developed a shot. I mean, he's attacking. One of the things we were struggling with during the year was the defensive rebounding. So we told him we needed him help. We needed his help on that glass. And um, for him that twin rebound, man, it was a good job. Um, last two for you. I know that you know you've had some heart stoppers with Princess in the last years in the first round. You go to Scope here, it's winter go home, state tournament berth, you're going now back to back years, but are you kind of relieved in a sense that this game didn't go down to the wire? I know they got it close late, but you guys kind of had double digit lead for a large part of the second half? Yeah, you know, we gotta we gotta fix that, that, that last part of the game. I mean, we wouldn't need free throw we shot the head to a couple of turnovers down the stretch. Um, we look more like the basically defensively, so I gotta go back and film to see to see what really we were doing wrong with this. Just, and the last year you're going to take on Norview Monday night for the championship game. I know your wife's torn. She's a graduate. <laughs> she obviously very hard for her stallions. But um, tell me about it. It is, it is a game I know that has very significant meaning because unlike last year, you lost the championship and you want to get that game to play in Norfolk State in the quarterfinals, correct? Yeah, yeah, congratulations to them as well. But, uh, you know, Coach Rick, man, doing a good job. He's one of my guys over there. Norview kids, tough kids. Uh, my wife, you know, they grew up in that area. So uh, I'm going to enjoy that, that, that game, man. You know, we... Uh, the difference of last year, you know, we, we, we weren't we were just happy to get there, you know, but this time we got to be ready to go in there and try to, you know, see what we can do, man, and, uh, you know, it'll be a good one, man. They got some tough kids. Them, them kids are some, some warriors over there, so we'll be ready. Now, Stevenson hitting 7 or 7 or 3 today. Oh, my God, he was shooting that play, man. Woo! That last two games, because he hit 6 or 7 big against, uh, what did he play? Uh, Bethel. Bethel, yeah. yeah. He's shooting it, man. Well, either way, Mrs. Harris will be a winner on Monday night. Mr. Harris hopes he is too. We'll see you on Monday night. Let's I'm gonna go. see who. I'm gonna see who she works. She, I'm gonna see if she had a pilot on and do stallions on. Let's see what she do. But she's a stallion in the heart. We'll see you, man. All right, thank you.